How's it going out there? This is Jordan Jones on New Super Mario Bros. 2. We're gonna go ahead and do the Castle of World 6. This castle, let me go ahead and say, is a joke. It's very easy. It's not like super easy, but at the same time, not super difficult whatsoever. Yeah, these flying jets. Okay, the, the gimmick, it is a little bit gimmicky, I will say this. Because you have flying jets. And then the first dark one's up here. Here's how to get it. You want to do this? Jump up here. Do that. Just wait. Just wait right here. Now jump to get the dark one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Okay, now you want to avoid the flying jets. That's the problem about this level with the flying jets. Like I said, it could be pretty crazy. But I'm making it look like a boss because I know how to do it. This part just takes nice and slow. The second Stark one's kind of tricky. But of course I can get it. I'll just focus for this one. There we go, we did it! How easy was that? That was pretty easy, right? Definitely the hardest Stark one to get in World 6. I'll say the least. Oh, well, that's what makes this part scary because of that. There's one little section and it's pretty easy. When you get the checkpoint, wait a couple seconds until they flash. They flash. When they flash and you're in the flash, you'll turn into stone. Which we do not want that to happen. I'm going to show you what happens in that, right here. Just so you'll know. So turn into stone. You can use the left joystick to break out of that. This is a slow paced part, but it's pretty easy. To say the least. We have one last dark one to get. Whoa, that was close. Okay, here's what I recommend doing here. Just using my tenuki to take the flutter down. Or float down, whatever you want to call it. Until they're done flashing, wait and go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? So here's how we get this last dark one. Ride this button down, jump up to get it. Now we're going to go all the way to the peace ridge. I'm going to hit it now. That'd be quick. Come on, you make it. Yes. All three star coins in one go. Welcome to Bowser himself. One of the easiest final bosses I've ever played in a Mario game, hands down. It's not like easy, but at the same time, not as difficult, that terribly difficult whatsoever, but it's not terribly easy, not as difficult as that new Super Mario Bros. U or new Super Mario Bros. V Bowser bite. It does turn the difficult bosses. That's why I love this one because it's easier. Okay, here's the gimmick with him. He can shoot fireballs like that, so you have to go to the left to avoid those, and he can jump, run under him, hit the switch. Hate those hammers too, but I didn't even show that. The Bowser fight is awesome. You cannot believe how awesome this fight is. Mario number one. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to save Princess Peach. Guess what? The third time I've done this in a new Super Mario Bros. game. On my YouTube channel. Here's where we're gonna fight Bowser. The Kooplings are gonna do sprinkle some magic on him to make him come to life and to make him big. That's Bowser on steroids, guess what? Bowser on steroids. <laughs> the gimmick with this is like this. We're gonna do this. 
Let me show you. It's a little bit gimmicky. But... You want to jump on platform to platform. It helps have some too, because you can float your way to it. Like this. See, easy. How easy was that? The first area of the Bowser fight is done. How easy was that? That was pretty easy, right? Now we're going to run and jump. Or you can jump and float instead. <laughs> yeah, I think the easiest way now is to be on the left side. The easiest way for this area is on the left side. Unless you have to go to the right and do it. Whoa, I didn't know where I was for a second. Almost got lost up there. I'm going back to the lower platform so I can keep track where I am. Easy peasy, right? To avoid this. Whoa! We're almost done. Do not worry. I'm going to win this time, don't worry. I'll probably do it on my first try. If I do, that'll be awesome. Oh yeah, I will. It's not that tough. As long as you have the Tanuki suit, you should be fine without it. I'm, I wouldn't want to say it's too difficult without it. There's the same music as the new Super Mario Bros. Wii fight against Bowser. Exact same music. Except it might be a little bit more upbeat in this game. Wow, I'm making it look way too easy. Way easier than it actually is. I'm making it look like a joke, I know. But guess what? It's not easy. Not easy. I did it on my first try. That was awesome. Now enjoy the credits. Enjoy the credits now. We're already up to 17 minutes and 16 seconds. I mean, 7 minutes and 16 seconds, sorry. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. I can't hardly speak. I just got confused there. 7 minutes. We have 172 lives. We collected all the star coins in this level. So next time, we'll do the special worlds. Is it for the main game? But it doesn't mean it's it for the Let's Play, which is not it for the Let's Play. Because there's still three more worlds we have to do. Already up to over eight minutes right now. Hope you enjoyed this really long video I made of this. <laughs> I'm carrying Princess Peach, as you can see. The Bowser fights out of the way, which is great, right? Are you excited about the special worlds? I am. Look at Bowser. I love this cutscene. Already over nine minutes. Okay. And that's it for World 6.
We're already over 10 minutes? Wow. It was a long video, guess what? I remember that one in New Super Mario Bros. U I did was even longer. Like, wow. One in New Super Mario Bros. week was kind of long, to say the least. Look at this. Right here. I'm talking coins. The end. Right up to 11 minutes, like wow. Let me show you something that's going to unlock. One of these special worlds we're going to unlock by now. And guess what it is. Star World has appeared. Until we've unlocked that. Progress saved. Returning to the title screen from that. You can save at any time on the map screen by selecting save from the pause menu. I just showed the bottom screen just to show you what it said. We can save at any time now. We have a star on our profile, guess what? In order to get the mushroom world, we're gonna have to do this level right here. Let me show you the cannon level. I will do this off screen. And then next time, we'll get started on the special worlds. That was it. I hope this helpful and have a good one.